Well, Black and White Network, I don't believe we've actually done a video on um, the Hunter Biden uh, laptop uh, situation. As you guys know, it was a real thing. And this actually came out during the presidential election of uh, 2020. The New York Post actually put it out there that the Hunter laptop story was a real thing. But however, when it came to uh, Bit Tech, they decided to actually censor that. Because they were calling it, you know, the left is actually calling it a Russian um, misinformation, that kind of thing. And then almost a full, what, I guess uh, almost two years later. Now, even uh, leftist media, mainstream media, they're saying it's real. When we knew it was real two years ago in 2020, uh, Trump even uh, brought it up uh, during the uh, debate with uh, Joe Biden. And Chris Wallace, you know, tried to squash the whole thing. And if you actually put out anything about the laptop story on Twitter, they censor it. They deleted it. And we know it's real. We knew it was real back then. But now the left, you know, I guess they're so uh, upset with Joe Biden. They decided to say, well, let's roll with it, man. This man is such a disaster. Let's just let it go. And it's real. Well, now Elon Musk. As you guys know, he is now uh, purchasing Twitter and the left is freaking out about it because he's going to bring free speech back to this platform. And it may already be beginning because I was actually watching um, uh, Tuesday night's uh, main event over on the Geeks and Games channel. And uh, Jeremy actually said he got his old Twitter account back. So did uh, Drunk 3PO because they were actually... um, they got a censor or something like that, and they got their accounts deleted, but they came back. So free speech seems to be coming back over there. But however, Elon Musk has some uh, things to say about uh, the Hunter laptop story on Twitter. So check this out. Elon Musk calls out Hunter Biden laptop censorship as Twitter executives cry because Twitter was actively trying to censor that story. To help Joe Biden. Well, let's read this. BitTech has uh, been brought to tears over Elon Musk's acquisition of Twitter and not the good kind. The I may lose my job kind. I believe that heads will roll over there at Twitter when Elon Musk actually officially takes over. I believe that uh, Peral Agarwal, he's gone because this is this is a man, the CEO of Twitter, that absolutely despises free speech. So he is on the clock. But he's going to get a nice payday because Elon Musk is paying shareholders a premium. But I digress. Politico released an article on Tuesday detailing a top Twitter executive's emotional breakdown during a meeting when she was informed Twitter employees of Musk's acquisition. Musk spotted the report on his uh, new plaything Twitter and wagged the finger from his Iron Throne. He responded to the story. And condemned the executive uh, Vijaya Gadi for playing a role in censoring the New York Post back in 2020 over the Hunter Biden laptop story. And uh, this is uh, what was actually uh, tweeted out by another person here. It says uh, Vijaya Gadi, the top censorship av- advocate at Twitter, who famously gaslit the world on Joe Rogan's podcast and censored the Hunter Biden laptop story is very upset about the Elon Musk takeover. And uh, he had tweeted out a photo here. It says, uh, Twitter's top lawyer reassures staff uh, cries during meeting about Musk takeover. Well, Elon Musk had this to say. He said, suspending the Twitter account of a major news organization for publishing a truthful story was obviously incredibly inappropriate. And he is 1000% correct. See, this is why the leftists out there, they don't want Elon Musk to take over the company. Because both sides will now have a platform. I'm assuming that um, Elon Musk is going to be a man of his word when it um, comes to our free speech. I hope that he does. And if he does, I may actually uh, go back on Twitter. I was actually uh, listening to... um, the uh, Chris Salcedo uh, show over here in Houston. And he said that he may even consider 
going back on Twitter, if Elon Musk is a man of his word and Chris Salcedo is not on any of the BitTech platforms, he refuses to support uh, these companies that hate his guts. But I'm glad that um, Elon Musk has come out and put this out there because I'm pretty sure, you know, politicians, people in the mainstream media, they're going to be shivering because there actually may be more stuff that comes out about other corrupt politicians in the Democrat Party on the left side. And it'll, it'll be able to go out there on Twitter without any censorship. And I do believe, folks, that um, this story being suppressed by Twitter, I do believe that had some influence on um, the election because there's already been a poll out there saying that from people that said, um, I, th- I believe it was roughly like 60 percent of people said they would have not voted for Joe Biden if they knew about the Hunter Biden laptop story. Twitter, man, that's a lot of power right there. That's a lot of power. And they suppressed that story. But they were actually allowing um, the left out there to say that uh, Trump was illegitimate because he was basically installed by Russia, that he colluded with Russia. That was false. But people on Twitter are still able to say that. But the Hunter Biden laptop story was not allowed on the platform. You've been lied to, folks. You have been lied to. And it's kind of funny, man. These uh, leftists, you know, their true colors are really starting to show because you even got um, Barack Hussein Obama out there right now calling for more censorship. The left, they want censorship. They don't want you to have your constitutional right of free speech. And that's to scare you. People that vote for Democrats, people that vote for socialists. You have a right to free speech, regardless of um, your political leanings. I believe that AOC is uh, completely insane. She's a socialist. She's a Marxist. She spews all kind of crazy stuff out there on Twitter. But do I want her censored? Absolutely not. Because that is her right as an American citizen. You don't have to like what she says, but that's her right. That's why Donald Trump should actually be on the platform. You may not like what he actually had to say about uh, the 2020 election. But guess what? That is his right as an American citizen. But the left, you know, they want you to think that Trump is a enemy of the state because he uses constitutional right to give his opinion on things. And bit tech across the board has wiped him out. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans. Elon Musk has the left shivering. And he comes out and slams Twitter for suppressing and deleting the Hunter Biden laptop story, which we knew was real. And now it's been confirmed to be real, even from the mainstream media, folks. Wow. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time.